We're learning new details tonight about a fire that destroyed a church in Pulaski. The Pulaski Church of God caught fire about 11 o'clock last night, and crews are still trying to determine how it started. WSFS 10's Rob Manch kicks off our team coverage tonight. He joins us live now uh, just off of Bob White Boulevard. Now, Rob, what have you learned from the people at the scene? Well, police just recently uh, reopened Bob White Boulevard back up to traffic here in the town of Pulaski, but uh, the building here behind me is the building that was destroyed in that fire. It was the sanctuary at the Pulaski Church of God, and the town fire chief tells me they now know that the fire began in the rear of the structure. Music pastor Tony Eads tells me he got the news shortly after fire crews arrived on scene and headed straight there. As soon as I pulled in, we close, and I saw the flames coming out. Uh, the church and and I just got to be honest my heart sank. Pulaski Fire Chief so Robbie Kaiser you. says it was a yeah, passerby that witnessed the smoke and called 911 but thanks to 20 mile per hour winds the fire spread fast. And we fought it all defensively from the exterior of the structure and uh, aerial ladders, aerial uh, water support. The sanctuary and the building next to it couldn't be saved. Youth pastor Jeremy Fleener was on site Wednesday to survey the damage. A lot of people in this church that have a lot of memories, um, a lot of worry for them, um, for those folks to show up and, you know, see where a lot of them got married, a lot of them grew up, uh, and to see that gone, I mean, that's, that's heartbreaking. Kaiser says the Federal Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms is investigating the damage. He says that's a common procedure in the case of a fire this size in a church. Agents haven't determined a cause, but he says after they're done investigating, his department has more work to do. It was the whole roof that fell, so it was too big to remove by hand. So when they get done with their investigation, we'll probably go back in with the machinery if it's still burning and uh, remove that. He says the building could be more than a $2 million loss, but he's confident his congregation will recover. You look at it in this condition and, and you wonder, can it ever be that great again? And I think absolutely the answer is yes, a resounding yes, it can. Well, amazingly, that congregation will be hosting a service tonight across the street. And uh, Fleener tells me he also feels blessed because the church's gymnasium was spared in the fire, so they'll have a space to offer services out of this coming Sunday. In Pulaski, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.